Hey guys, welcome back to the Active Auntie YouTube channel. If you didn't know, this channel was created to just hopefully encourage people to get up, get active, and get moving. Um, and on this channel, you'll notice that I move in a wide variety of ways, you know, fun ways, creative ways, challenging ways. I don't know, we just do an activity on this page, on this channel. So today we is doing some dribbling. You know, I used to play basketball, you know. So I feel like sharing some dribbling activities today. And this is a great little five, 10 minute session that you could do. Like, let's say you're coming to the courts to practice or you have practice with a team. It's just a nice little warm up you could do to just get them fingertips going, that blood flowing. And yeah, let's get grooving. So first I like to get familiar with the ball and get my fingertips activated. So I like to do this pinching motion with the ball back and forth between my fingers. Not that, like 20 seconds. And then you're gonna go into your, just keep it within your fingertips and you're just gonna rock, throw the ball back and forth between your fingertips. You can go up, down. We're just familiarizing our fingertips with the ball. All right, bet, cool. So, so now we're gonna go into our stationary dribbling. We're just gonna do a few little warm ups, and then we're gonna get into some motion dribbling you know, game-like dribbling. So when you're in your stationary dribbling, you wanna make sure you have a good base, you have good balance, that you're staying low, your chest is up and your eyes are up. Because don't forget, this ball is round. It's going to bounce back up, it is not squared or triangle. So you don't have to worry about looking down. So now that we're in our stance, we're gonna dribble the ball 20 times with our right hand. And you wanna make sure that the ball isn't, become, isn't coming up above your waist. And you wanna make sure the ball, try to bounce the ball in the same exact spot for the 20 reps to keep control of that ball. Good job, you're gonna switch it to the next, switch hands. All right. All right, you'll notice that I have my arm bar up here because as an offensive player with the, with the ball, you are allowed to perfect protect your space. You can't push, but you can protect your space from it, from the defender. So I like to just practice in my stationary my stationary drills to keep my arm up so that I'm always remembering to keep that arm up in the games. So now we're gonna stay with the same exercise, but we're gonna add a rock to it. So 20 reps, dribble, but add a little lean with it, little rock with it. Switch. Good job. Now we're gonna go into some crossovers. Same, same base, same positioning, chest up, eyes up. And you're just gonna rock, cross it back and forth and you'll notice that my body leans the way that the ball is getting dribbled. 20 reps. Nice and slow, you don't need to go fast. Good job. All right, so now we're gonna pick up the speed. Ready and go. Keep it in those fingertips. Good job. So you'll notice whenever you want to get quicker too, you have to get lower. You have to dribble the ball lower and really pound it. Okay. So next we're going to stay stationary and we're just going to do a between the legs, pound, between the legs, pound. So you'll notice how I'm standing on this line. When you go between the legs, whatever hand you use, so if I'm using my right hand and you're going between the legs, well then that same foot wants to be the foot that goes back, right? So you're going to go pound, back, pound and bring that foot back up and then pound alternate foot just like that so we're just going to practice uh, 10 each hand so 20 reps and you don't have to go fast remember especially if you're a beginner take it slow because it's quality honestly it really is quality over quantity so just take it slow and then you, when you get your rhythm you can speed it up
Make sure you really pound it. And good job. All right. Oh, sweat is in my eye. So there you go. This is a nice little warm up. This stay a oh, nice little stationary warm up. And now we're gonna get into some moves. All right, guys. So now we're gonna take what we did stationary, which was crossovers in between the legs. And now we're gonna pretend that there's a defender in front of us, and it's more a game light as we continue to practice our crossovers in between the leg control dribbling. So with crossovers, you want to make sure that you're always shifting your hips every crossover because that helps keep the the body helps keep you between the ball and the defender obviously remember it's ball you man right that's the saying ball ball you man yeah so shifting the hips will help keep the ball protected as well as just keep you more explosive because when you're crossing over and shifting your hips you want to make sure that you're exploding off that back foot so cross explode cross explode cross explode it is a lot of footwork that i could really break down but we're not going to do that right now maybe that'll be a whole nother video but yeah right now we're just going to practice the control of dribbling the ball so we're just going to do two reps of that so first take it slow and then you can pick up your speed in the second rep So now I'm gonna pick the speed up a little bit, a little bit. Woo! Remember, always keep your eyes up, chest up, stay low. All right, so next move we're gonna do between the legs. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be pound between, pound between, pound between, pound between, pound between, pound between, pound between. Just like that. Break. Go take it slow and then you can pick it up or take it slow every time until you really start to get that control of the ball in your hands. But it's really just about staying low, shifting those hips and keeping them eyes and chest up. Good base, good bounce. Not leaning over too much where you're gonna fall. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Real effective, easy warm up or drill, dribbling drill that you can do every day to just improve your dribbling skills. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Look at my hands. Ooh.